the other man that left said one of the things I wanted to say, um, whatever treatment, like however they treat one of them, they should as well treat others the same way. It's just it's just that experience and today I was trying to call maybe I'll send you his number to see the guy whose video went viral that was narrating one of the survivors that was narrating what happened. So it's it's even more painful that I know these people personally. All of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. You I know Junior Oh. Yeah. I stayed in Asaba for three oh. years. I was really serious. Oh, you yeah. were Asaba Wood at the time in your life. I was really serious about this film business. But I don't I don't have Junior Pope's number, but the TCO couple, I have his number. But Junior Pope was met few times, particularly at a place called Redstone Lounge. He used to like frequent there with his family. So um again when I saw the the news, I was telling my brother before that video even the TC guy made the video, I was telling my brother this guy he does spy for money when they even reach five hundred K. Yeah, that was the I'm sorry if my voice is slow. I'm outside. It has been showing me Shege uh -huh. in my house. That's it's my better house. now. It's been showing you Shege. MTN. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So it's terrible. Uh, hey, I was telling my brother that Junior Pope himself might have gone for a role that they probably did not even pay him up to 500 Only for these guys to make a video saying that the same producer paid him 30 k before. And this job was gonna you know, it was going to be paid a hundred thousand naira. And these are known faces, not to talk of the poor makeup artist, the sound guy. These people probably left this world for maybe a 30, 50 K job. Ah, it's, oh Lord, it's, so, it's, it's, done. it's so painful. It's 33. 2016 was when I served, I think 2016, 2017, NYSC. I was paid 3,000 naira for a job, for a role. Like, it's, it's, it's painful. And then I can imagine the sound people, how much they, they don't even respect them. On set, I already, it's not like I, was, I wasn't known. Now they, they treat you as if you are... If you're an upcoming, you're not a star, there is no regard. They bring some sort of food to the location. I wasn't eating location food, not because I was rich, but I was living with my uncle, who was the PA to the Delta State Governor, so he was relatively comfortable. So I was going to location set with my own food. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Late Sam, Uncle Sam, Sam Obia, Obiago, he died, I think, Two, two years ago, the man with the gray hair. I used to take my own food to location for him too, because he wasn't eating that food. They give people poor food, they pay them less, and then you still reach their lives like this. And right now, it has happened to somebody else. Everybody is pretty good at giving advice, but I had a moment of ref um, reflection, a moment of reflect, like to like reflect. I have passed through that water before without a lifeguard. I have a video on my phone. I mean, without a life jacket, you, without a lifeguard. Send me the video so I can post it. No. This was like three, four years ago. I'll look for it. I remember then I posted it on my Instagram. Like then I was in Asaba, but I archived it years later or months later. I'll look for my archive videos. We passed through that River Niger water. I was supposed to host a show for an organization across the water and I was paid fifty thousand naira to host it. So you, as you should have done them by the cross water for less than hundred K. <laughs> <They, laughs> yeah, Asaba is something else. Asaba is great. one of the best decisions I made was leaving Asaba to live here. There was so no left life Asaba wood. <laughs> so many reasons and I don't regret my actions. There was no life jackets to cross i know that i asked in the same way he made his video i was scared i wasn't the one that recorded myself someone did because they were laughing at me the girls in the speedboats were laughing at me actually because i held on to the last stick 
I was panicking. And those girls, even the in quotes pilots, was like, ah, you too, they fear, you too, they fear. The way they were actually moving, they were paddling the speedboat, whatever. These guys act as if they have a spare life at home. Like, it's, it's, it's so painful that these people have to like go through this. And also, just like Sarah said, it's an eye opener because they've been doing this for years. Yeah. If I had this experience mm -hmm. three, four years ago, five years ago, I've been in Lagos for four years now, five, six years ago, this is 2024, it's still happening. It's just that at least number of people had to go for people to start doing the right thing. And then actors, actors should be paid better than and be treated better than they are currently treated and even the um assistants the makeup people the other people these I, people are on their page um, it's just um i'm itching to mention something here with respect to, and i don't know maybe we've not averted our mind to that i believe in every profession like yeah. acting is a profession as well. Mm -hmm. they, they, aside the Actors Guild that I, I know of, which is the popular one, I believe there should be a body that regulates the standards, et ethical standard and recognized standard in respect to the profession that could hold them accountable, especially when it comes to um, the producers and anything that has to i know people would say these people acting are adults so they should know well enough to protect themselves or not to accept what is what would endanger their lives but um i feel if there is a regulatory body that checks up on required standards to protect the interest of the profession and those in the profession and they are always held accountable by check checking the activities of producers and whatever needs to be in place for a proper production to take place because we are talking about human lives here so what which, which where is which is the body that regulates or checkmates the activities that takes place and how how active have they been in performing their own duties so this can be avoided because we are looking at this from Absolutely. different aspects from different angles so this is another Absolutely, angle. my sister Sarah, um, you, you, you're making... instagram wants to is giving me one more minute so let me just use this to round off thank you my beautiful ladies you've done well and that god save you, you left us about wood god save you you I cannot cry over my picking. Belle. Yeah, I'm crazy. It's crazy. Nigeria is not ready for the truth. Mm. We continue risking our lives. I said it earlier on. We bought, we bandaged our eyes and run across the road. And if Moto no jam us, say God saved us. Mm. Mm. That's that's the story of Nigeria. Express. You tie your eye and you run across the road. And for one reason or the other, you are lucky. The motor no jam you. Say maybe motor no they come or the motor break, avoid you, jam their self. You shall manage and cross. The Lord has done it for me. Should you be crossing the road blindfolded in the first place? Nope. Anyway, my lovely ladies, thank you so much for your time. Thank I you love you all. Yes. God bless you. And may the soul of the dearly departed rest in peace. Now, I want to leave a message for the family of the lady. If there's anything we can do as the Free Nation Church to help get the body out of that area, yeah. if you want to take the body home to be buried properly, if there are any fees, any rituals you need to do for the shrine, let us know what to do so we can help. God bless you uh, uh, take good care of yourselves and may the souls of the dearly departed especially those who are not famous enough to have a representation may their souls rest in perfect peace good night good and night. goodbye good night good night Thomas says she's already been buried wow sad
If there's anything we could do, we're available. God bless you all.